What's up guys, this is my video on how to install the latest version of the Android 4.4 KitKat based AOSP ROM on your HTC One. So you must be rooted and should have custom recovery on your HTC One and uh, your recovery must be the latest version of it. So I will leave the link in the description so that uh, you can update your recovery. And uh, this ROM is compatible with almost all the HTC One variants. Again, I will leave the link in the description so you can go ahead and uh, check the compatibility issue so make sure you download the respective file uh, for your HTC one so this one is the international variant so the link one will give you the ROM file the link two will give you the latest version of the recovery once done copy the ROM file and the G apps onto your internal memory and once you have done that reboot into recovery hold the power button hit restart and while it's restarting hold the down volume So now we are in this bootloader mode. Now use your volume keys to navigate, go to recovery and hit the power button. So once you are on your recovery mode, go to wipe and uh, make a swipe to do a factory reset, back, go back. And once done, go to install and navigate to wherever you have the Android 4.4 AOSP ROM. So here it is. And select the ROM file first. Make a swipe. So now that's done, go back. Again, now flash the Google Apps, select it, again, swipe to confirm flash. Okay, now that's done, do a wipe cache slash Dalvik. Go back and hit reboot system now. And wait for the phone to boot back. So guys, we are up here and we have successfully installed the AOSP ROM based on the latest version of Android. So let me just quickly skip through the basic settings. So there you see guys, we have the latest version of the Android 4.4. As you can see, we have the transparent status bar, the white icons. So let's go on to settings, about phone. And here we have the Android 4.4 KitKat. So guys, with this ROM, we don't have the new icons for the dialer, but we do get the new icons for the camera, the app drawer, uh, even the folder icons and stuff. But I will be installing the new Sion Engine mod, the unofficial version of the Sion Engine mod 11. So I will be doing a full review on that. So stay tuned. I will be coming up with more videos. Till then, you guys have a great day. Bye bye now.